Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, Kingdom Hearts. Now before we get into the extra swing of things, I forgot to show off some shit in the normal game, like Mushu. I thought we saw Mushu already, he's a dragon that breathes fire. No. No, we didn't at all. Wait, th this isn't even from a movie that we saw, what the heck? We didn't see Lion King either, and we got Simba, and there's Bambi. Oh, you're right. What's wrong with this game? I don't know. Wait, what is he? <laughs> is he an option? Our new friend, a gun. <laughs> yeah, he is pretty much just a gun. He breathes much fire, and that's basically it. <laughs> okay. Does he? I mean, if you attack, does he still breathe fire? Uh, he can't attack. You can't attack when you've got a gun. Wait, it's what? against the rules. This is terrible. That's the worst summon. Why would you <laughs> use a key when you have a gun? We're pushing a door. We gotta check out one thing. We have a spell upgrade in here. Oh, oh boy. Like in a chest? That seems weird. There's some spells just lying around here. Yeah. Like, dude, the hook just had it here. What the, whatever, it's a treasure room, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, some dark matter. Dead duck. <laughs> some dead duck. Ah, oh, my, fa my favorite item. Three more dogs. Do you have all the dogs yet? You've got a lot of dogs. Power oh, of wind. What? Aurora. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, talking about getting all the dogs, what? I got a lot of the dogs off screen. Oh. Holy shit. Even after they were torn apart by the destruction of their world? Yes, that's right. Are we sure these are the puppies? They look so fake and animatronic. Are they playing a song? Oh, puppies! I love puppies! <laughs> Do you know how much of how much of an edge they're going out on to put this many polygons on screen at once? <laughs> that is true. This is the power of the PS2. Like, in a the background, there's just a 2D sprite puppy, just kind of like at 5 frames per second. <laughs> in fact, everything that isn't the dogs is actually just a 2D sprite. The walls have to shift down to lower textures to make way for the dogs. Oh, what's in the box? It's in the box, Pongo. Oh. Uh, well, first of all, fucking everything is in the box. Oh, because you get all of the gifts that you didn't get before. Yep, got yeah. that. Ah, oh, sweet, you can add an Ultima to your toilet. Oh, a tech boost, that's something new, thanks. I won't have to return that to the store. Wait, what? How could they know magic? What? Dogs are known wizards. Ah, cool, you've got all the gummies? Oh, yeah, there's a base. Let's play that. I'm glad that their model, for Pongo, accurately captures how painfully inbred Dalmatians are. So the more puppies you get, the more populated this house generally becomes. I see. But either way, let's go do some, uh, let's go do a new cup. Like a new cup can unlock the, um, moment we unlock the end of the world. Oh. Now, uh, a lot of this is kind of repeat, and I did promise in the OP of the thread that we would, I would, you know, like watch Disney movies I've never watched what? before. Okay, so, like what movies? What did you see, future friend? We, we watched all the movies that have a world in Kingdom Hearts. Also, why are you asking me, Killer MC? What, what we did we them. see, future friend? What did rhetorical you watch? Plural you. Rhetorical me watched Alice in Wonderland, Hercules, Tarzan, Aladdin, Pinocchio, The Little Mermaid, Night Before Christmas, Peter Pan, and Killer MC watched Winnie Pooh and I didn't. <laughs> yes. No one wanted to watch it with me, I watched it alone. He was sad, he just was just eating like a tub of Ben and Jerry's. In place of Winnie the Pooh, we watched All Quiet on the Western Front. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so uh, let's uh, let's talk a bit about them. Let's start with Alice in Wonderland and see 
you and I watched it, and we thought, man, this movie kind of sucks. It did suck, yeah. Yeah. And Not then very good. we got to the third act, and it was actually okay. It was actually a really good movie at that point, but then you have to sit through two thirds of a weird, boring ass movie. Yeah, because it's this weird movie where it's just a bunch of sketches and skits and. It's kind of like stand. It's kind of like stand-up comedy, but not funny. <laughs> uh, and you know that joke I did all the time of saying it's nuts. That's pretty much that in movie form. It's it's somebody just going that's nuts without an XC being all that crazy. Actually, some of the things were kind of crazy, like that time Alice got stuck in a house. You know, there was that story about not eating oysters in March. Yeah. There was also the shovel bird and the broomhead dog. That was that was something. There were people named Tweedledee and Tweedledum? That's crazy. Yeah, I, uh, it's, I don't know about that. Also, this uh, <laughs> new enemy... Ah, you're really good at this mushroom. Yeah, you're supposed to combo him into the air, but... Yeah, Yeah, good work on that. Just ring out. Don looks so proud at your one combo. Oh, it's Yuffie. I bet she was in Hercules. That's right. Uh, you know who was in Hercules? James Woods? Yeah. Uh, Danny DeVito? Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is probably my least favorite Danny DeVito role I've seen so far. <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, my opinion about Hercules wasn't too high because it did that like really annoying 90s thing where it's like a thing in the past, but they have a bunch of pop culture references. Oh, boy. Oh, you don't like anachronisms? <laughs> Not a big fan when it's like fucking... Dumb pop culture no one cares about, like, past the 90s. Yeah, it was really weird when, like, Danny DeVito just started advertising It's Always Sunny throughout the entire movie. That was all his dialogue. <laughs> well, once everyone has forgotten the 90s, we'll just sort of assume that all of those things were, in fact, part of ancient Greece. That's right. Like HBM. It was weird how... Hercules at one point just got replaced by the entirety of New Kids in the Block. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Yep. yep. And then it turned out James Wood actually voiced everyone in Boys to Men. They had the Titans <laughs> voiced by the cast of Seinfeld. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was probably the oddest design decision they made on that movie. Uh, and they couldn't get Jerry Seinfeld for the Rock Titan, so whenever the Rock Titan movie just repeated, What's the deal, with? No one ever found out. But Roger Ebert really liked it. That's all what Jerry Seinfeld says. But yeah, uh, Hercules, uh, kind of not that great a movie, but it has <laughs> James Woods, a crazy cocaine addict, playing James Woods, a crazy cocaine addict, so... Right. Please don't slander James Woods, he might, like, sue you. It was a good movie with the good villain. Only it was actually a bad movie, but the villain saved it, so... Yeah. What a bad union. Time to strike. We're striking. You know what else is bad? I, I, I can't <laughs> say what it is. I can't. We watched Tarzan, okay? We did watch Tarzan, yeah. Tarzan's good. Speaking of monkeys, there's monkeys in Tarzan. Oh yeah, shit, that's right. <laughs> uh, and, also, and also, gorillas are fat, like these fat people. Yeah. Tarzan is actually pretty alright. Yeah, it's, it's got mostly the best a good movie. Of basically any Disney movie thanks to Phil Collins. It's got a Phil it's got a Phil Collins in it. Yeah. I, I think Phil Collins does a good job of not just being Phil Collins in it. It's got the got the great song. My mom's an ape and it's crazy. <laughs> oh no. Wait, was Phil Collins actually a voice role in there? He was the singer. He did sang. He's also Tarzan. Oh my god, there's eight people. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. I'm a crazy ape man. Is that what Phil Collins sounds like? That's weird. Uh, Tarzan, also probably like one of the best looking Disney movies. Oh yeah, it was really well animated. I like the part where Rosie O'Donnell does the thing in the in the lab, and they do that song. Yeah. The thing in She's the like, lab? She's like, shooby dooby doo <laughs> Yeah. Hey Tarzan, shooby dooby. <laughs> That's what Rosie O'Donnell sounds like. Eh, Tarzan. Tarzan uh, kind of has that issue of having a bunch of like animal sidekicks there. They're just kind of there for like 
to be, like, precocious, I guess? And that's it? Hey, we're pretty precocious, Tarzan, ain't we? Me and the elephant, and that's, that's it. Hey, Tarzan, you want to smoke cigarettes behind the ape school? Precocious duo, they call us. I'm, I'm Rosie O'Donnell. Come to my talk show afterwards, Tarzan. And then that guy at the end until he gets hung? That was weird. Oh, yeah, he does get that hung. That seemed a lot darker than most Disney fare. Yep, you just watch his body hang there for like five minutes. And then Tarsa corrects as follows well like, hey, looks like you're hanging around here a lot. <laughs> hang in there, buddy, and then he winks at the camera. The jungle explodes. It's pretty intense. And then a Phil Collins song starts playing. Everything's on fire and a man's hanging in the treetops. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Then there's that whole extended sequence where Tarzan explains why the Irish potato famine is not the fault of the British government. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit out of nowhere. Yeah, I always felt like that scene just kind of felt shoehorned in. <laughs> it's really weird how a man was never seen an Irish man, just never wants Ireland to secede. <laughs> oh, did you win? Yeah, I won. Oh, cool. Oh, it's time for a new one? Yeah, it's time for search ghost. You know what? Uh, yeah. You know what else is a ghost? Uh, Genie Aladdin, which we also watched. <laughs> yep. Genies are ghosts. You're right. <laughs> yeah. They're ghosts, but they just give you wishes. And this one, he makes a bunch of funny jokes. Mm. Yeah. I hear he basically just ad libbed his entire scripts. Yeah, I think that's the story. And then Homer Simpson stole his role. It was really fucked up. Aladdin is good. Okay, it's all right. Yeah, like I, I don't think really the film is much of a standout. I guess Robin Williams is all right in it, but he's just kind of like being Robin Williams. Mm -hmm. I still have nostalgia for it. Aladdin's cool because he hates cops. It's largely just an okay movie. It is really weird that The Simpsons forgot that Homer is a genie after, like, season 8 just stopped coming up at some point. Well, they ran out of continuities. They had to change The Simpsons canon. It's like the new 52 of cartoons. Well, I mean, listen. Like, if you gotta spend all that mo animation budget and having someone, like, carry on the lamp the entire time, like, that's just <laughs> real fucked up, you know? I mean, I remember the early seasons where you would grant Mo different wishes, but now he's just a blue guy that hangs out at the bar. It's just kind of weird now. It turns out that saxophone is actually just the lamp. It's really weird and stylized. Alright, so, um... Alright. Yeah, uh, Alright. You know, <laughs> I like how we close. Right. I like how we close <laughs> conversation through. Like, well, alright. That's, that's a good That's a good segue. <laughs> alright then. <laughs> Next up. Next up, um, it's Pinocchio. It's about a puppet. And yeah. puppet, he, he, at one point he drowns. And I laughed for three minutes because yeah. there's a puppet that's drowning. That was great. Speaking of mad fungus, Pinocchio. <laughs> is a fungus. At one point, Pinocchio gets enslaved, which is pretty cool. That's messed up. And then they all turn into donkeys. It's weird. Speaking of mad fungus, fungus can grow on trees, which is where we get wood from, which is what Pinocchio is Except when he becomes of. a human. Except when he becomes human. And he's just... It's fleshy and weird. He never became a donkey, right? Just the weird, like, coke addict kids that he hung out with. No, he became like a donkey puppet because he was also a dumb, rude boy who misbehaved. He had donkey bits, but he wasn't complete 100% donkey. Unlike that friend he made that was a coke addict and also a donkey. He wasn't a coke addict. He just smoked cigars and drank beer. Uh, close enough. For in, <laughs> in the 1970s, they were basically Fucking the same Fucking Trorps thing. goes to a bar and is like, oh, look at all these coke addicts. That movie was from the 30s. What are you talking about, Chops? 1930s sensibilities were different. <laughs> yeah, the 30s, everything had cocaine in it. <laughs> <laughs> Including the puppets, which is probably why Pinocchio ran away. I'm starting to think maybe you should have watched the Disney movies with us. You don't know what we're talking about at all. Uh, you know, in the 1930s, they also just kept, like, Shania Cheddar Sundown all the time with revolvers. It's true. <laughs> Early Disney was sponsored by the cocaine plantations. There's product placement all over the place. I just realized all these ones have the normal colors. That's fucked up. 
I, I don't know. I just know this is some paramilitary shit here that's fucking <laughs> lizards. Speaking of the paramilitary and the horrors of war... Oh, yeah, Pinocchio. <laughs> no, we finished talking about Pinocchio. Finished Pinocchio. No, we didn't. It, Let me give my solid opinion on Pinocchio. We barely talked about that. It's... Eh, it's mediocre. It's not mediocre, it's a classic. What are you talking Everybody about? Everybody stop everything, I gotta give my opinion. It's alright. No. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. <laughs> what's your opinion on the on the, what's your opinion on Jimmy Cricket? Uh, that's that's a weird thing. He is a weird fucking pervert who wants to fuck humans all the time. Yeah. Like that's a thing that never gets brought up ever again <laughs> in any media outside. That Jimmy Cricket is this weird interspecies fiend. Yeah, he likes what he likes. Don't don't kink shame Jiminy Cricket. I will, because he's fucking... As long as he doesn't act on those impulses. <laughs> he's alright. That movie is good. Go watch that movie right now. If you're watching this, what are you doing? Watch Pinocchio. It's a classic. The best animation. The greatest of the Disney thing. The... There's a Pinocchio. The Disney, etc. There's a bug thing, and uh, there's music. Um, a uh, Little Mermaid. All right. So we watch <laughs> Little Mermaid. Oh, God. oh, I love that. We movie. did do that. <laughs> uh, Little Mermaid. Uh, there's a crab in it. That's that's not a good movie. He's Jamaican. No, it's not. That's some good music, but that was about it. There's that fish that eventually his eyes are gonna go to the one side of his body. His eyes go to the one side of his body. Yeah. <laughs> that was his defining characteristic. <laughs> one day you wake up and nope, this is the only direction you see now. <laughs> and then you're like, and then like your fucking best friend lady just leaves you because you're a freak now. You're no um. longer some cute weirdo. And then King Triton is like, I ban you from the waters. <laughs> Actually, it's super weird because Ariel is like this 16 year old teenager who hangs out with an 8 year old. What teenager wants to do that? Wait, are we talking about Sebastian Flounder? It's Flounder. Sebastian is like fucking in his 50s. That's just weird and creepy. Remember that weird bird too? There's that weird bird that just pops up and starts like rambling about spoons or forks. Yeah, that guy sucked. I hated him. I bet he took coke just like and would have turned into a donkey if he were in Pinocchio. Well, it only happens to kids, not birds. Oh. Birds aren't affected by the magics. Birds are just flying kids. If you really think about it. <laughs> birds lack knowledge of sin. They cannot be held morally culpable for their actions. <laughs> Man, flounders are weird. And then Prince Eric played a flute, and then uh, Ariel is like, man, that is the hottest attribute I could think of in a man. Oh yeah, that's also, like, the take. Like, the film of that movie is actually pretty good. Yeah, Ursula? Like, yeah. yeah. Everyone loves Ursula. But, uh, Prince Eric. Now, I haven't watched a lot of Disney movies, but Prince Eric is the most boring fucking man in the universe. No, he says things, and he plays the flute. Better than Hercules, at least. Oh, boy. He's like, man, this mute woman is really hot, but I am only in love with this woman who sings with the same voice as this lady. <laughs> he's just so shallow and bad. No, he's a complex man. He likes what he likes. Did you end up seeing The Little Mermaid 2? No, I didn't. Oh. What did you do to this dog's geometry? <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit weird, yeah. Little Mermaid 2, there's, they have a child, and then the, the child is like, I want to be a mermaid and not on the land. And it's kind of like the same movie, but backwards. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. No, it's no, bad. I'm not watching that, no. We already watched Return of Jafar, we're not watching... We're not any... We're not watching any more direct to... Video Don't movies. you want to watch Jafar return again? I saw him return. Don't you want to watch Aladdin and the Forty Thieves where it turns out Sinbad is Aladdin's dad? Was that Sinbad? I don't remember, actually. <laughs> I don't think that's true. Al Alibaba, the one who had the Forty Thieves? No, I'm, just, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was Sinbad. Ah. <laughs> uh. That's the power of the 
the power of the Keyblade. Speaking of the power of the Keyblade, we also watch Dumb. Not Mayor Before <laughs> Christmas. Right, Mayor Before Christmas, where the guy demands power of the Keyblade. Yeah, and that's a great movie. That's probably the best movie we watched. That's probably, yeah. I would put that on par with Pinocchio. It's a really good movie. I, it's probably, no, I haven't watched a lot of Tim Burton movies because I watched, like, his Alice in Wonderland movie and that was garbage and I just oh, no. swore <laughs> Well, let, here's some good news, future friend. It doesn't matter because The Nightmare Before Christmas is not a Tim Burton movie. That is true. Oh, what? I thought it... He came up with the idea. He came up with the idea and then people were like, ah, oh, this isn't going to sell. And so they just put Didn't his name on it. he the art direction too? He might have done art direction, but he did not direct or write or do any of the parts that people hate Tim Burton for. <laughs> they just used his name because they knew he was popular at the time because he did uh, a different movie. That's the name. Tim Burton's a different movie. Look, I don't know anything about Tim Burton. He hangs out with Danny Elfman. That's kind of cool. It's uh, it's like a goofy movie, except it features Disney's less popular character, Differentio. He's just a different guy. <laughs> Nobody gets him. He's misunderstood, but, you know. It's like the goofier movie where they do the X Games. That was a weird sequel. <laughs> Why do you know all the shitty Disney sequels, but none of the actual <laughs> movies? <laughs> well, I watched the movies, and then I watched the sequels, so the sequels are closer in my memory. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> It's really weird. Goofy gets really good at the X Games. And then Max gets mad because I think Goofy leaves him for, like, a hooker or something. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's true. Wow, this got gritty, this fucking Goofy movie. <laughs> Frank Miller's Goofy movie. <laughs> dad, you suck. You always sleep with prostitutes. You're embarrassing me, Dad. Sorry, I, what I meant to say is Goofy gets hired by another team and apparently decides that he doesn't love his son anymore, so he joins the other team. <laughs> oh, yeah? That's a very different sentiment you just expressed. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, he hates his son, and then he realizes that actually family is important, and then one of them falls in love with uh, a beat poet at a, at a cafe. <laughs> He realizes his family is supported and he fucks a hooker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start a new family. <laughs> <laughs> what is your thing that was the plot of this? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time. <laughs> and uh, speaking of nonsensical allusions to prostitution, at next movie on your list, go. Uh, Peter mm -hmm. Pan. Peter Pan. Uh, Peter Pan is bad and racist. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the worst one we saw. It's a movie that's like 76 minutes, except it feels like it's fucking three hours. It's three hours of filler is what it is. And also, like, the racism is like 15 minutes of it. So... <laughs> Also, it spends a lot of time, like, being, like, actually being a kid forever is cool, but actually the plot should be, no, it's not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, because Peter Pan is a sociopath who cuts people's hands off. Yeah, yeah. it's really messed up. And, like, once again, Disney movie trends, uh, Book is the only character who's bored fucking anything. <laughs> Remember that time Wendy almost dies because the sirens, like, try to rip her apart or whatever? Because Peter Pan's into her? And then Peter Pan's like, don't be such a bitch, Wendy. <laughs> it's kind of a long-running Disney thing. They take things from folklore that were there to terrorize children into, into not running off into the woods and getting eaten by wolves. And then decide, actually, mm. these things are cool and good, and we like them. <laughs> they are your friends. Go into the forest. I like the wolves of the forest. They're cool. All right. So, I didn't watch some Winnie the Pooh, but you did, <laughs> MC. Tell me about Winnie the Pooh. Which Winnie the Pooh movie did you watch? The original? Yeah, the original, yeah. It's just, it's Winnie the Pooh and he does some shit for 90 minutes and that's, then it ends. Amazing, I'm so sad <laughs> I missed out on that. <laughs> so you did not do the search for Christopher Robin where all of them go to Skull Mountain and have to face their deepest fears? I, I wasn't aware of that one. I just watched the original. That one's real, I own it on VHS and it's terrifying, and it was terrifying as a child. <laughs>
Poof all does down a bottomless pit and can't get up, and he talks about, you know, he, he kind of does the, like, philosoph- the philosophy thing of just, like, who is he as a person. What? It's really messed up. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, that's a child's movie somehow. Tinker gets shot and dies and dies <laughs> after a coma. Then they come out of Skull Mountain, and it turns out Christopher Robin wasn't there the whole time, so they did this just for the betterment of their own characters. That's cool. Oh, it's because Christopher Robin is dead. That's why I get it. Then there's that. Then there's the Tigger movie where there's the existential crisis about the fact that Tigger's the only Tigger in the world. Mm-hmm. What am I? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, the original one is just they have some grand adventures and it's, it's cool. And if you like those characters, you could just spend like seventy minutes or so of your time with them, and it's all right. Yeah. It's Winnie the Pooh. It's basically a slice of life anime. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and then Pooh learns how to play the guitar, and they start a band. Rabbit songs always getting on their case, but they're like, "Hey, man, let's just let's just chill out." They're always so uptight. Rabbit song. And then Winnie the Pooh holds a concert for real people as holograms, and it's weird. Yep. Then Piglet Chan is like the resident smart kid of the class and they get ostracized for it but you know they just try to do their best and the other kids are like yeah he's kind of a nerd let's not hang out with him and they stuff him in a locker and then speaking of anime the most screen time that final fantasy characters will receive in kingdom Hearts. then they're like and they're like do i smell some rancid ham in this hallway right now it's like oh no we forgot about piglet over summer break and Oh, sh- he's dead. He's dead. What do we do? Okay, we gotta hide the body. <laughs> gotta hide the body. Okay, no one has to know. The principal can never fight know. off zombies with the sweet guitar. The zombies! I can't believe they got the two coolest characters from Final Fantasy together. That's right. Donald and Goofy, my favorite Final Fantasy VII characters. No, they're dead. Um. Sora, let me just give you an ass kicking. Stop kicking my ass, Sora. Let me just turn around for a sec. I gotta show off my gun blade, Sora. It's a lot more blade than gun right now. I'll oh, fucking hey, kill Donald while you're not looking, Sora. You'll never see it coming. <laughs> It's over! Squall's kind of worthless. Okay. It seems like Cloud is really the one kicking your ass. <laughs> Just like the first time you fought Cloud. Cloud will never kick my ass. He has never kicked my ass. There's no video evidence of that. Are they ever going to bring back that arena in the sky like before? When you yeah, it was weird. And are they ever going to bring back like the 2D perspective? I kind of liked that. That was a different kind of break from the game. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> Oh, you're out of heels. What are you gonna do, buddy? Oh no, no I can't fuck believe now, it. Sora. Are you out of movies yet, or do we have to keep coming up with four segways? No way. <laughs> We're done. Time to go beat clouds. <laughs>